Welcome to Countouts. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the post adjustment trial balance and how to do it. We'll be going through a thorough example which should help you understand how to go about doing the post adjustment trial balance. So, even if it's your first time looking at how to do a post adjustment trial balance, I believe after this video, you should be able to do it yourself. It's a very simple exercise, and you'll see why with the help of this example. So, in this question, we are told that the following pre-adjustment trial balance on 28 February 2018 was taken from the records of Nora Traders and we are asked to prepare a post-adjustment trial balance on 29 February 2018 and then we are given the pre-adjustment trial balance over here and if you scroll down we have additional information so usually when you ask to do a post-adjustment trial balance you're given the pre-adjustment trial balance and additional information very important which you need to take into account when doing the post adjustment trial balance so with preparing the post adjustment trial balance it's very important to take into account all the details that you are given and be also pay attention to the dates that you are given so you pay attention to the dates the information that you are given in the additional information and in the in the pre-adjustment trial balance so what i like to do when i begin doing the post adjustment trial balance i just take all the details that are in the pre-adjustment trial balance and plug them into the post adjustment trial balance and that's what i've done so i made sure i did this before this video just to make sure that the video is not too long so you can see from capital to creditors control capital to creditors control i've put them down here just the details not the figures because the figures will be affected by the additional information and then the nominal section as well that's exactly what i've done it's from sales to telephone you can see they're in the nominal account section so that is basically what i've done and i would say you need to do that as well or it should make your work easier if you just plug them in and then what do we do next we go to the additional information we see what affected uh, the pre-adjustment trial balance what is the effect in the pre-adjustment trial balance so that we can do the post-adjustment trial balance so let's go and look at the additional information so if You've been doing the post adjustment trial balance and you are doing this just for the sake of practice i would encourage you to just pause this video and attempt it by yourself and then you can come back later and look at the solution uh as we look at each question you can pause and try and see where it goes so let's look at the additional information number one tells us that the inventory count on 29 february 2018 amounted to 2100 rand now when is 21 29 February 2018 remember we are asked to prepare post adjustment trial balance as at 29 February 2018 so that means the inventory we are given here is at the at, at the end of the period let's look at our pre adjustment trial balance so we are always looking at our additional information in conjunction with the pre adjustment trial balance so we are given inventory but we are told it's for the 1st of March 2017 so that means it's for the beginning of this period but with inventory, we know that we record the ending inventory. So this is the one that we want to 2,100 rand. So let's record that under inventory. And we know inventory is an asset, so it goes on the debit side. That's also another challenge some students may have with doing the post adjustment trial balance, not knowing what goes on the debit and credit or credit sides. But you'll always get the indication from the pre-adjustment trial balance. So we have 2100 rand that's the correct one we have put so after each one i'd like to i like to cancel each additional information that i've addressed so here i'm just going to highlight it let me choose a red color here just to show that i'm done with that one and i'll also like to highlight the pre-adjustment trial balance to show that i've dealt with that one here as long as i put the figure there and then let's look at the second information in the additional information the cost of sales after the inventory account after the inventory count amounted to 3400 now it was important that they told us that it was after the inventory count because we'd ask the question have they taken into account the fact that it's we have the ending inventory as opposed to the beginning inventory and yes we are told that it's after the inventory count at the end of the period which amounts to 3400 rand we look at the pre-adjustment trial balance we don't have the cost of sales as you can see so we're just going to put the cost of sales there cost of sales and then what is the amount 3400 and we're done with that one so let's highlight it cost of sales and then let's move on to the third one number three additional information tells us that depreciation for the year amounted to 1000 rand so let's go to our additional uh, our pre-adjustment trial balance 
we have accumulated depreciation on equipment of 6,000 rand. Now remember, accumulated depreciation is all the depreciation from the prior years, all the depreciation put together relating to a specific asset, in this case, equipment. And depreciation relates to depreciation for this specific period only. So accumulated depreciation is all the depreciation put together that's relating to a specific asset, which is equipment, and depreciation is for depreciation for this year only. If you'd like to understand more on those, you can click on the link on your top right, or you can click on the link in the description below. So we have accumulated depreciation of 6,000 Rand plus the depreciation for this current period of 1,000 Rand. So 6,000 plus 1,000 gives us 7,000 Rand. We put it on our credit side because it's a contra asset account account accumulated depreciation is a contra asset asset account so we are done with that one so let's highlight the third one depreciation but remember we have only recorded the accumulated depreciation so what we need to do is also record the depreciation for this current year because it's an expense so we go down here and we record depreciation and of 1000 rand which is an expense so remember, we add it to our accumulated depreciation, which reduces the value of our equipment. And then we also record it in our, in our income statement, which will be uh, one of the expenses in the income statement is depreciation. So we have to put that in. Always remember when you have to take that into account. So we have also done the accumulated depreciation. So I will highlight that one. Then let's move on to the fourth one. Number four. Included as part of revenue is an amount of 500 rand, which was received in advance from a customer for a future project. So what has happened here, we have received 500 rand from a customer, but we have not provided the service yet because we have received it in advance and it's for a future project. So if that is the case, we have not, in, we have not earned that amount yet. It does not belong to us. It still belongs to the customer. So what do we do with it? Where do we put it? It goes under income received in advance income received in advance what was the amount there 500 rand so we put the amount 500 rand remember it's a liability because it does not belong to us yet if you'd like to understand this specific term income received in advance you can click on the link on the top right of the screen or in the in the description below so we've just done that one. So income received in advance. So remember what it tells us included as part of a revenue. What is revenue? Revenue is the sales that you have made. So it's included as part of sales. So let's look at our pre-adjustment trial balance. We have sales of 16,500 Rand and it includes that 500 Rand which you have not earned yet. So we have to take it out from there. So let's record the sales 16,500 minus 500 Rand we have 16,000 Rand. So we have just done that one. So let's highlight that one. So you can see how we do the post adjustment trial balance. We always look at additional information in conjunction with the pre adjustment trial balance to see what has been affected and what amount is changing. And that's why we don't put the amounts initially. We just put the details and we worry about the amounts when we're looking at the additional information. So let's move to the fifth one. Included in the amount included in the amount of 6500 rand for rent is an amount of 2000 rand for the rent of march 2018 and this should be reflected only in the next financial year now remember we are asked to do the post adjustment trial balances at 28 february 2018 that's what we are asked to prepare and 28 february 29 february 2018 is the end of the financial year and here we are told that including the rent of 6,500 rand. And if we go to our pre-adjustment trial balance, we see 6,500 rand. So included in this amount is 2,000 rand for the rent of March 2018. Now remember, March 2018 is the, is the beginning of the next financial period. So it should only be reflected in the next financial year. So what does this amount mean? This amount means we have paid rent for the, next for the next month in advance or for the next period in advance. So if we are paid rent in advance, what do we call that? Call that prepaid expense, an expense that has been paid in advance. P 
prepaid expense we have not incurred the expense yet because it's for the next month or with the next financial year so it's still our money it's still an asset if you'd like to understand more on prepaid expense i have a video specifically just for that you can click on the link on the type, top right of your screen or in the description below so we have prepaid expense which is an asset of 2000 rand so we put 2000 rand and then it says included in the amount of rent so it's included in the amount of in the in the amount of 6500 rand for rent so we have rent here rent expense here so this 6500 rand is not all that we have incurred we've only incurred 6500 minus 2000 rent which is prepaid expense so 6500 minus 2000 gives us 4500 so we have just recorded that so let's highlight it uh, rent okay let's move on to the next one number six the february 2018 telephone account for 1750 was received after 29 february 2018 and still needs to be accounted for so what is this here we have a telephone account which is an expense of 1750 for february 2018 which means it's part of this period it was received after the end of the financial year or after 29 february 2018 and still needs to be accounted for that means we have not paid it yet because the amount was only the account was only received in the next financial year so we have not paid the 1750 yet although we have incurred the expense so we have incurred the expense but we have not paid it yet so what does that mean that we still owe that amount so let's look at the telephone we have telephone 250 rand so that 250 rand is not complete we still need to quote the expense of 1750 which we have incurred but have not paid so telephone is an expense because on the debit side so 250 rand plus the 1750 gives us a total expense of 2000 rand so telephone but we are not done yet because we have not paid this amount yet it's still and it's still a liability so we are still going, we are still have to pay it and we still need to take it into into account so what is this this is accrued expense or expense that we are we, we, we have incurred but have not paid it yet so we put it under accrued expense it's still accruing to us still due we still need to pay it and that is a liability remember we have not paid it yet so we put 1750 if you'd like to understand the accrued expense i have a video specifically for that again you can click on the link on the top right of the screen or in the description below which i will put so let's move on so we are done with that one so let's cancel let's uh, highlight it you can use a pen or a pencil to just cancel it out if you're doing it on paper telephone we're done with that one and then let's do number seven says the profit for the year amounts to 4600 rand 4600 rand now you can i'd like you to pause the video here and think about it where does where do you think this goes now i, I hope you have thought about it profit does not reflect in our post adjustment trial balance so this additional information was probably there just to throw us off and that's another thing with the uh, post adjustment trial balance you have to know what goes into post adjustment trial balance remember profit is in our income statement but does not go into the post adjustment trial balance what goes in the post adjustment trial balance is our income and expenses from the income statement that is so it does not go into a post adjustment trial balance it was there to throw us off or to see if we understand the post adjustment trial balance so i highlighted it like we are done so we are done with our additional information what do we do next we go back to our pre-adjustment trial balance we can see that the the, the 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 other amounts or the other details which i have not highlighted was not addressed in the additional information what does that mean it was not affected or it does not change so what we're going to do is just take the figures and plug them into our post adjustment trial balance so we take them from the pay adjustment trial balance and plug them into our post adjustment trial balance so let's take the first one capital 539 250 so we're just taking and plugging them uh, drawings 3000 so it's an expense debit side and then land and buildings 500,000 rand and then equipment 3000 30,000 sorry and then what else we have bank okay I should be highlighting this one as I do them so that I know if we have left anything out and then we have bank 8,500 
8500 I'm trying to highlight it then we have debtors control of 13,000 rand debtors control 13,000 then we have creditors control of 5,500 5,000 so you can be canceling out to the pencil or a pen if you're doing another example or you're doing it in an exam paper or a test and then advertising we didn't do that one we didn't it wasn't affected so we have 500 rand so let me just highlight it first we have 500 rand now the moment of tr of truth which many students would uh, would struggle with is making sure that it balances but if we did everything correctly it should balance what i'm gonna do is total up everything that we have here so i'm gonna do some then just total them up uh, then mm -hmm. and then the next one so the next one has to total 570 if it doesn't total if they do not match if they're not the same that means you have done a mistake somewhere and you need to go back and see where you might have done the mistake ah you can see it balances so i just copied the 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 formula from here and put it here so you can see our post adjustment trial balance balances that means we have done everything correctly it will be such a coincidence that it balances and you have done something wrong but uh, if it balances then you have probably probably done everything right so i hope that has made sense you can see the steps that i've taken in doing the post adjustment trial balance first i plug in the details that we are given on our pre-adjustment trial balance the next thing is we go to additional information and address each one in conjunction with our pre-adjustment trial balance and then after we are done with our additional information we go back to our pre-adjustment trial balance and see what we have not addressed and we, we know that one has not changed so we just plug in the figures into our post adjustment trial balance and your post adjustment trial balance should balance so it's a very simple exercise you just need to understand what your debits and your credits are and also what how to work these things out some of the challenges that students would have is with accruals uh which one have we paid in advance is it prepaid is it accrued uh i have videos just specifically for that and i've created a playlist for that so you can click on the any of the links in the description below if you do not understand them but if this video has helped you please consider subscribing to our channel like our video which really helps us and comment below if you have any queries or uh of or anything you'd like you'd like to say and share it if you can till next time Cheers.